FAQ number 33. Should a Christian give money to homeless people that reject Christ? Another very good question. Um, you can turn in your Bible to 2 John. It's only one chapter, so it's chapter 1. Beginning at verse 8. It says here, Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Whosoever transgress, transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, in other words, are not saved, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God's speed, for he that biddeth him God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Okay, now it's talking about people that are professing to be saved and they're not saved, you know, people that are not, that, that are definitely lost. And they're coming and stuff, you're not supposed to invite them into your house. So, is it an exact lineup with the thing of somebody who's homeless and they say, don't, I don't want to attract, but I'll take your $20 bill. Well, maybe not an exact parallel to the thing, but I think it does teach the same basic concept. If somebody comes along and they're like, I don't want to hear about Jesus Christ, but I'll take your money. Mm, I wouldn't do that. Um, and, you know, I think most people that are in desperate straits are going to listen to the gospel. I know that there are some brethren out there that really specialize in that. That's their ministry God's called them into. Um, you know, and they go out and, and they're out there and they're witnessing the people and handing them a track. And I don't say you got to get them, you know, if you refuse to get saved or something like this, you know, you're going to get saved and baptized and join a local church before I'll give you, you know, a dollar. No, 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 no. No, don't, don't do that, you know. And, you know, shouldn't be joining a local church anyhow, but, <laughs> you know. Should be joining the body of Christ if they get saved. But, um, you know, if somebody, if you would, you know, go and you're living in a city area and you see somebody who's homeless, um, you know, first of all, be careful about just giving them money because, um, you know, I've been in, in third world countries and, you know, you got to be real careful to give those people money because you get some of these people, they're just out there and they're just looking for money because they're drug addicts or alcoholics or things like that. And if you give them money, they'll just go buy more of that stuff. So again, you got to be real careful with that, uh, giving money out to people. But if you see somebody who's really having a problem, they really, uh, you know, need some help or whatever, need some food, and you witness to them, they say, "Look, I don't even want to hear about that stuff." What's the point in giving somebody like that money? If they are just adamantly, don't talk to me about Jesus Christ. They take your track and throw it on the ground or throw it back at you. Don't talk to me about that. Uh, you know, I would not give somebody like that my money, to be very honest with you. Uh, they don't have to become a Bible-believing Christian right on the spot before I'd hand them money or something like that. But, you know, if I would see somebody homeless and I'd say, here, you know, here's a gospel tract, and they'd say, oh, thank you. You know, and I'd say, hey, and, and here's some money to help you out. Fine. But if somebody rejects Jesus Christ uh, openly, blatantly, just, you know, I don't, don't talk to me about that stuff, whatever, don't give them a cent. Okay. And in reality, God might be dealing with them. He might be saying, okay, you've rejected me all these years, and now they're going through that process where God's trying to break them. You know, and you helping them out at that point is actually going to be reversing that and doing more damage. Uh, that's why I'm very much against welfare. Um, Another verse, look up real quick here. Just trying to think of where this one is at. Okay. Second Thessalonians chapter three. I had to think of where it was there for a minute. Um, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10, For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. So, even the thing of, it's not just you know, rejecting Jesus Christ, but it, you know, in the New Testament it's saying, if you don't want to work, you shouldn't eat. And we've gotten way far away from that, you know, where we have a whole system of welfare and other things like that, and you, know, you have people that just are not willing to work, and, uh, you know, they're eating. They're eating very well. Better than people at work a lot of times. So, should you give somebody that's homeless 
money if they reject Jesus Christ? No, I don't believe that you should.